Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the freeform gradient. You can find it in the gradient panel next to the radial and linear gradient. If your gradient window is not open, go to window and select gradient. To use the freeform gradient, first select a single shape. This gradient won't work on combined shapes like the previous gradients did. Now click on the freeform gradient icon. Depending on your shape, Illustrator automatically adds one or several points to it. You also have an option to create gradient color points or gradient color points in a line. Let's use the points. Notice I've got two color stops, one white and one blue. In your case, it might be a different color. To change a color, click on a color stop to select it and then choose a desired color from the color or swatches panel. Notice that selected color stop has a white ring around it. To add points to your artwork, just click anywhere on the artwork. The new point you add will adapt whatever color was selected last. If I select the blue color and then click to add another point, my new color is going to be the same blue color. Another way to change a color is to double click on the color stop. This will open a dialog window where you can either choose a different swatch, create your own color, or using the color picker, select any color from the artwork. To get outside of this mode, either press the escape key on your keyboard, or while holding down the control key, click anywhere on the artwork. Notice there is no option to close this dialog window and sometimes it can get in the way of your work. In this case, you can always select a point and use the regular color window. With the dark red color selected, let's add the same color point here and move it down. Now select this red color stop to get a sample and add a point here. Let's move it a bit and add a few more points of the same color around here. There are a few ways to delete points. You can click on a point to select it and then press the delete key on your keyboard. You can select it and then click on the recycle bin in the gradient panel. Or you can click on it, hold and drag outside the shape's boundary. Let's add one more color stop here and change its color. And again, either use the color window or double click to open the dialog window and adjust the color here. Click on the artwork to close the window. To select multiple color stops, click on one of them and while holding down the shift key, select a couple more. Now click, hold and drag to move them around or drag them outside the artwork to delete them. Let's get a sample of this color by selecting it and add a few more points. Now adjust the other color stops if needed. With a color stop selected, you also have an option of increasing or decreasing the spread of a selected color. Just click on this little black circle and drag it in or out. You can control the percentage of the spread in the gradient window as well. Let's make a few more adjustments. Now select the next shape and choose the freeform gradient. Select the existing color stop, move it, double click to open the dialog window and use a different color. Now click to add another color stop, double click on it, choose a different color and reposition it. Select the next shape and add the freeform gradient. 
Let's zoom in on this part. Press the letter V to switch to the selection tool and then press the letter G to activate the gradient. Now let's move this color stub up, double click on it and choose a different color. Let's add one more color stub down below. Next we'll create highlights by using the lines option. First select lines from the gradient window and then click along this edge. Double click on the color stub to open the color dialog box and choose a lighter brown. Now click on the artwork where you want to add another color point in a line. This works very similar to the curvature tool. If you would like to learn more about this tool and how to use it, please check out my previous tutorial. I have included a link to it at the end of this video and in the description below. To stop editing more colors, press the escape key on your keyboard or while holding down the control key, click anywhere on the selected shape. Let's select this color stop, move it closer here and with the lines option still selected, add more color points in line. Press the escape key on your keyboard to deselect and drag out this point to delete it. Now adjust the points if needed. Select the last part and add the freeform gradient like we did before. When working with text, first you will need to create outlines, ungroup it and then add a gradient to individual letters. You can either add points or use the lines option for a different effect. To create straight lines, press and hold down the ALT key while adding points. If you would like to add a freeform gradient to text, here is a workaround way to do it. First create your freeform gradient. Then select your text, right click with your mouse, choose a range and bring to front. Place it over the gradient, select the text and the gradient and create a clipping mask. Now you can still adjust the color stops. With the freeform gradient, you can also change the opacity of any of the color stops. You can do it by double clicking on one of the color stops and adjust it here or directly from the gradient panel. To better see the results, press and hold down the control key. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.